So Nathan, joining us live here on at Pimo Stadium, it's a 2-1 defeat for Luton, but you probably feel you should have got at least a point from that game today. Yeah, but we keep saying it, you know, it's, we're controlling games, we're, we're, we're pretty dominant first half, we started really poorly and we work on starts, we work on what we've got to do and what we I think, maybe we shouldn't. Maybe we shouldn't work on on, those, on, on starts. Maybe we should just let them let them get on with it. And then we, after the goal, I thought we were excellent. You know, we really did. We got into chance after chance, and opportunity after opportunity, controlled the game. These are very good football inside. And all the reports that came back, and when we were watching games, you know, they caused sides real, real problems. Ball problems we caused. We caused all the problems. They changed the shape at half time, and we come after scoring right on half time and thinking momentum's with us. One, one ball into the box, and it's not a good ball into the box. And then you got a six foot one cent right left back who's very good in the air, doesn't win enough. And then his head as well drops. We don't get on the second one, we don't get on the third one, and then we're, we're two one. And then, we, you know, then you have another mountain to climb. It's just demoralising. We're having to show a lot of character lately. But the reason we're having to show a lot of character is because we're giving goals away, and it's it's poor. You know, our structure going forward and how we how we how we play and how we cause problems is very good. It's excellent, in, in fact. At the minute, we're not we're not keeping clean sheets, and if we don't keep clean sheets, and we're not going to win games. I mean, it's so frustrating after everything that's happened in the early part of the season to go down inside six minutes. Uh, yeah, today. Well, maybe maybe we're making too big a thing of it. Maybe it's something that I I need to just say, okay, just whatever happens, happens. Just just go out and, and relax and play. But you know, our starts, we we don't want to do it. I had a text message from someone from Pollard today. Just sort the first half out, you'll be fine. And we, it took us six minutes to go behind, and then one minute to, to go behind again. You can't keep doing that. You must have uh, you know, professionalism there that you think, right, start well. And we, we try and impact, and we try and start really well and get the first goal and so on. Because we do that, we don't, we, don't, we don't lose. But we've lost it today, and you know, we've, we've had enough chances to have won the game. I mean, to be honest with you, we've had enough chances to have won the game, or, get, or at least got something out of it. And I thought our structure was excellent, but we, we lacked a, a real quality in the final third and uh, and then naive defending cost us. I mean there's clearly the negatives that you know we are conceding and going behind too often at the moment but the positives from that are is that the players performance and the determination to get back into the game the spirit uh, amongst them all out there you, you could see it again this afternoon. Right okay so we, we, we say that we've got that we're equipped for this level because our structure our players are technically comfortable with this level. They can handle the ball. These are a very good footballing side, really expansive side, but it, without being disrespectful to anyone, I thought we were far better in possession than, than they were. We dominated that, we were controlled, we carved more, we got into good areas. But yeah, our performance levels, and we are able to handle this level, but if you keep conceding silly goals, then you're not going to have a foothold, and you're not going to be able to, to, to go on and, and ask teams to change and to do, do different things because you're dominant. When we do that and get the first goal, then sides come out against us, then we, we have the potential to carve teams open. But we're not at the minute, we're just giving teams goals. They haven't even got to work for them. I mean, he ran straight and was able to plant the goal without any opposition. I, I find that baffling. And then there, it's one ball in the box, which Dan Potts and, and, and our, our back four should be relishing, because they're all good at they're all six foot plus and all should be winning that and, and, and putting that out of the danger area. But we didn't. That's a naive defender, and that's a disappointing thing because everything else, our structure, the quality, the amount of chances we create, the amount of possession we have, for, for being a side that's just come up. It's, you know, I know, I know, I know what we do. Nine corners in the first half, an incredible statistic away from home, and it was the ninth one that we scored from. Uh, Potts did get up with a nice header back across goal, and Elliot Lee celebrated his third of the season. Yeah, and you know we know we have that threat. We brought people in that could have that threat. But how many times did we get in behind them and have whipped balls across? Didn't pick anyone out, or wasn't in there someone to, to do that? Our, our structure and everything we did was fantastic. You know, we really did. We limited them to maybe counter attacks. When they won it back, they tried to get Marcus into it. But, but our structure and everything we do, I can't fault that. It's just you can't give two goals away and expect to win a football match. And that's what we keep doing at the minute. We keep giving goals away and expecting to win a football match. No, if we keep clean sheets, we'll win games because we, we are a threat going forward. But at the minute, we're, we are more of a liability than we are a threat. 14 corners in total here this afternoon for Luton Town. Would it be fair to say you perhaps would have expected more chances to have come from those set pieces? Yeah, maybe. Uh, in, in terms of that, and then you always got to be careful because they lead three up. They're a brave side, and and so on. And, but you know, we scored from a corner. We had, I, I wouldn't like to say how many times we arrived in their box or in around their box and crosses and so on. So you know, we had enough play to have scored another goal. I mean, they had one chance second half where they, they whipped the ball across. 
but, but we were far out, out, outweighed them in terms of chances. I, I believe, I'll have to watch it again, but I do believe. I, I was so pleased with the first half performance, apart from one incident. Because apart from that, keep it hardly had a safe to make. So, I, you know, it, it's, our structure's good, everything is good, but we just gotta, just gotta you know, lighten up because of this level, as we keep saying. You can't, you won't give sides. Sides are good sides at this side. They have good players and, and sides take them. In League Two, that, that shot from the edge of the box might have, might have gone wide. It might have gone over the bar. You know, like like one or two of ours have, have have done, but we've got to show more quality in the final third, and we have to we have to cut out the naive defending because yeah, we're on the brink of being a very good side, but at the minute, on the brink isn't 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 a very good side. It has happened a couple of times this season, hasn't it? Games exactly like that where we've had the same questions and answers because of the performance. Well, we go way of Portsmouth and we dominate the game at Fratton Park, absolutely control and dominate the game, but we slip over, we allow them to get a thing and one chance, and they score and we lose one nil. Yeah. So it, it, it's happened before. The, the goals against Shrewsbury were a penalty and then a debacle, and then we have to score three to win a game at home. We miss a penalty as well. So these are the things we have to eradicate now. They've, they've worked hard, the players have worked hard. They've, they've drafted, they've come to the level, and we're comfortable at the level. We know that. But it's time we start showing that now. It's time we, we have a ruthless edge about us defending and attacking. These are a good side. They are a very good side. But we've showed how, how good a side we are, and especially in possession. So we have to make sure we eradicate certain things, and then we can start winning football games. But. You made a couple of changes from the team that played at Wickham last week. You welcomed um, George Grant back after well, being an injury on, on Tuesday night, but no Danny Hilton today after all. No, he was just too soon really and, and uh, look and we missed Danny today I think um, in terms of certain you know, in terms of the play and, and, and that. Um, we you know, he's 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 ready, he trained yesterday fully, he trained Thursday. It's just probably too soon. So we'd love to have rolled him out. If it was April we'd have rolled him out today and he'd have played. But um, uh, because he's um, you know, because it's too much of a risk, we, we we didn't. And young Aaron Jarvis, who impressed on Tuesday night in the Checker Trade, got an opportunity to come on uh, late in the game. Yeah, well, look, he's you know we're we obviously missing Danny. It, it gives him an opportunity and, uh, and and things. And he was late on. We had to, felt we had to change something because even though all our, all our good play, we you know we didn't take chances. And, uh, I said I, I, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but when I look back on it, we'll we'd have had a lot of chances there to to have won a game. Uh, or to have got a second, and, and think, but we didn't take those. So, so look, we, we've we've got a you know we've got we've got a week now to before another home game. If we show those levels of, of quality in our play, and then sharpen a few things up defensively and in and around the box, then look, we'll we'll start getting the points we we need. Lovely. Thanks very much, Nathan.